Good morning, everybody. Today is vlog day number four, I believe. Yeah, it's four. I know I was late on vlog day number two, and it's currently Sunday, October the 4th, 12.51 p.m. Today is going to be mainly a just self-care day or selfie day, I guess, whatever you want to call it for me. I'll be going to view some art at the museum and then I'll be stopping by Barnes and Nobles to pick up a new book. So you guys just follow me throughout the day. And I'm also probably gonna take pictures because I will need content for Instagram. As I told you guys, I'll be going back pretty soon. So stay on the lookout for that because I will need some followers. You guys follow me around. If you're new, my name is Takia G. Make sure you subscribe because I would love to have you. So you guys, I've been waiting in the car until two o'clock, you know, with the whole Corona thing going on, you have to buy tickets ahead of time. So my time is from two to four. They just opened the door, but it's still like a little line there. And it looks like they're enforcing the face mask. Of course, you guys know I don't wear face masks, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. So follow me along, I'm about to get ready to go in, you guys. And it's so much rain. <laughs> we can actually purchase and y'all know I want some nice art for my house <laughs> let's see if I was to buy something I would probably buy this how much is it 750 this or or this Cause I see my house being black and white and then like a pop of color, the color will be art. And then there's this, y'all know I love flowers, but I won't put this up. How much is the big one? 1,100. against art but anyways you guys look at this picture this painting is really cute it's by Eugene Savage I'm gonna tell y'all I love art so much I could literally come to a museum and be here all day really I can see once I start traveling the world I will be going to like every single museum well, the most popular museum that that place has. So I found the Jerry Seinfeld quote. My parents didn't want to move to Florida, but they turned 16, that's just the law. See, um, I hate Florida, I don't wanna leave Florida. But when I turn 60, I might wanna come back. Can't wait to go to Charlotte. <laughs> well, let me go ahead and take in more art. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite painting if they still have it up. Because this Ponce de Leon piece is pretty new. I've never seen it till now. Look how big it is. I would love to take a picture in front of it. So this is Art 101 for the people who do not like coming to museums or just don't understand it. So number one, you have a seat. Well actually number one is you find a painting that you really like or something that interests you. You have a seat. You observe that painting and you read the story. Right now, I'm looking at a piece from Thomas Morin. It's a really, really big picture. I just shown it to you guys. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Art 101. Observe the art. Try to put the story together. Every picture has a different story. It could be like 12 of y'all and y'all come up with a different story for every single piece. So that's what I'm going to look at right now. It 
it is literally so beautiful in here imagine having a space in your house that looks just like this with art your mini museum i want that <laughs> and look at let's see and look at this picture look how big it is So the next piece I'm looking at is by Peter This It's supposed to be a huntsman with his dogs and they're hunting animals. As far as I can see in this picture, they found chickens. They kill all the chicken. And it looks like there's one wild boar in there. But I'll let you guys look at it and tell me what you see. But that's what I see. Kind of looks like Ponce and Leon to me, but that's not what the description says. But that's what I'm getting. And as I look at it, there's actually a rabbit as well. There's a boar, a rabbit, and then his dogs are the only animals that's alive. This is a paint that you see in like everybody's house, but this is like the original. I see my grandma, she has one in her house and I was always fascinated with it. Look at the detail. Look at, get into the details. It looks like a legit picture. Not a painting. So you guys, I found a Vani Vanitas. I think I'm saying it right. A Vanitas. So I remember in college we had an assignment. Oh yeah, another fun fact. Um, I took an art class. We mainly covered the Renaissance, the Renaissance period. So I found a Vanitas, and it brought me back to that. We had to make one, and I literally flunked it. Let me show y'all the one I'm looking at. So you guys, they do have my favorite paint, but it looks like they moved it. It was on this back wall where this paint is at. Now it's here, it's so pretty. I love flowers and I love everything about this paint. Check out the caption. That part. Y'all, so I found another interesting piece. It is artwork made of flies. So it was a cute little play on it. Um, the humor was flies on the wall. So he made his painting on the flies on the wall. How cool. And it's really cute. I can see this going into like a modern home. I'll show it to you guys. And I'll also show you the texture. It's beautiful. Made of flies. This is the piece that's made up of flies. And I showed you guys the piece up close as well. So y'all, this piece I'm looking at, it reminds me of like a play on Basquiat because of the black, the black stick figure person. If you guys know who Basquiat is, you'll know what I'm talking about. So this reminds me of. And this is an interesting picture. You can get a lot of stories out of this picture. Like my one, I see two people. Then you could spot a dog in this picture as well. By Rufano Tomeo. Just made it, just made it to find China. I'm not that big on China, but. Ooh. Look at the piece I'm looking, I think I'm so obsessed with like the big pieces and how detailed they are. Like these people are extremely, extremely talented. I'll show y'all what I'm looking at. Get the picture first. It is by Renee Theodore Burton. This is a beautiful piece. It reminds me of um, 
starry night because of the curves. If you guys can see the curves in this picture and the beautiful detail. But it's not by Van Gogh, it is by Thomas Hart Benton. So from a distance, this artwork was very nice. But when you came up close, this face is all scrambled. <laughs> so nice. And go up close, and it's just all scrambled. Basquiat crown. I have this on my rib. So cute. And the Frida clutch as well. This is so pretty. So I just left the museum. The art was beautiful, as you guys seen. Um, and now I'm about to head to Barnes and Nobles. Um, I heard they got a new collection of R.H. Sin, so I'm gonna see what I can pick up. I just finished two of his books. I hate like when I get to the end, it's just like, oh. I encourage you guys to check him out, by the way. That's where I'm about to head, and I think I want a Buddha bowl today from a vegan restaurant here in Jacksonville. So just continue to follow me, you guys. Hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday, by the way. Okay, so you guys, I just made it to the town center. So now I'm walking to Barnes and Nobles. Got to look down and stuff down here. It is chilly and it's raining. Not a good combination. That's why I'm going to go pick up a book. And I'm probably going to end my night with reading a book. Read them some new poetry by R.H. Sin. I'm so excited. section I spot art sitting by myself you guys and they have the box set but it's a specific book I wanted I'm not sure if they have it I have most of these already so let's see what I get so they didn't have the one I wanted, so I guess I'll just get these two. We hope this reaches you in time and whiskey words in a shovel. Part two, I already have part one, so I guess we can work with this for right now. I just left Barnes and Nobles, got my book. So now I'm about to go get something to eat. Um, I passed BJ's on the way here and they have a really good pizza. So I think I changed my mind from the vegan restaurant to a pizza. Plus it's really close and I don't like driving, so. I think I'll have some pizza today. If the way is not too long. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh, BJ looks extremely packed. And I do not want to wait to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a U-turn and I'm gonna go to House of Leith and Me and eat vegan food today. You know, it probably wasn't meant for me to have pizza. I probably need something nutritious to eat. Finally made it to House of Leaf and Me in time to eat, finally.
guys i'm finishing and i just left the vegan restaurant i had the zembo it had brown rice lettuce spinach tofu chickpeas and i had it with the ginger sauce and i also had crispy tofu bites with sriracha and now i'm finishing off with this vegan um chocolate bite that i got from there and that's the end that was it that meal was amazing thank you guys for following me throughout the day i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye